Welcome, Leo, to your mid-month reading for December. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. This message, please, for Leo. What is it that you want Leo to know? Getting straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. You want Leo to know for the mid-month. Ace of Wands in reverse. Feels like there's a little inaction going on where you felt like there was going to be this kind of aggressive, assertive energy going on. Well, it's kind of not there, <laughs> right? It's you're not really feeling it as much as you maybe were intending to feel it. So there's a little inaction going on um, over here with the Ace of Wands. If you felt like somebody was going to come towards you, then you're going to find that they're not coming towards you the way you wanted them to. Um, right. You might even feel like you're stuck. It could be an ending to this um, achievement that you are after as well. So you might be trying to strive for this to actually um, can either continue moving or maybe you just like it that it ended. Maybe you wanted it to end. Right. Some people, you know, we'll see what's going on over here. However it is, it just doesn't feel like it's moving the way you wanted it to. I think there was something you were waiting for that was like, I wanted more, um, maybe more before it ended more and then before you got stuck. Bringing on a challenging time. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it does feel like it's kind of a challenging time. It feels like you, you wanted more. We're just going to say it that way. Right. Because that's really what's going on. Whether it ended or you're just stuck, it's not doing what you thought. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and in the future. I want, yeah, I wanted more. I expected more from this situation. Love abounds with the Ace of Cups in reverse. And then your Darkest Fears coming out with the um, Darkest Fears, right? Which is the same as the Nine of Swords. So it's like I'm kind of trapped and there's that stuck feeling um, with the Nine of Swords coming out in the Darkest Fear. So it does feel like this kind of ended. It didn't go the way you really wanted it to. It kind of gave you a challenge. You feel kind of challenged about the situation. Um, and definitely this stuck feeling, which is going straight into the um, near future over here. So let's see what's going on with the Love of Bounds over here in reverse. It's, you know, just talking about not getting the love the way that you really wanted it to. There could have been some trust issues going on. Um, there was the optimism has not um, come through the way you wanted it to. I just feel like it's like instead of giving me the positive out of this situation, it gave me a challenge instead. And it feels like you were trying to stay as open hearted, open minded and radiant about the situation as much as possible. But it's just like, I don't know if I should reach out, help someone do this, reach out to them, whether it's a potential um, love interest or um, it is a love interest or it's just a platonic friendship. Um, but it does feel like there could have been so much more. Um, and you were trying to release the negative, you know, beliefs about the situation, but it just feels like the negatives are overweighing the positives of the situation. Okay, so let's get in here and see what's going on. with the love of balance in reverse. Yeah, it, the passion wasn't there as much as you wanted to. There it was almost like the door just kept closing on you. And it did feel like you were trying to open it as much as possible. Yeah, clearly trying to see exactly what it was. It was almost like you were trying to grow with them. You're trying to keep this going, trying to think clearly about how you're going to get the situation. But there was just not enough support coming from the situation itself with the page of coins, right? So it almost makes, could even make you feel a little guilty about the situation of not being able to reach out the way you wanted to reach out, um, or it could be them as well, right? Maybe they feel guilty for not, you know, reaching out. Maybe they were too self-involved. I mean, you have the page of coins and reverse. There's a lot of self-involvement going on. Maybe you even felt like maybe you were a little too self-involved um, and you didn't find the time to be able to get to where you need to be. Um, okay. 
So you might even feel like they were being selfish, right? However, it is. Take it how it resonates. Everybody's story is different. Um, going over here to the sacral chakra, it's like, I want this. I want this, you know. And what do you want? I feel like you also wanted it to end, right? I don't mean the situation like you want the situation to be better, but I think you want the challenge to be over, right? Yeah. I want the lovers to change. I want this love relationship to make a turnaround, but I see it ending. Um, so it does feel like you're saying, okay, fine. Um, so somebody wanted this, this separation. Maybe in the end you realize it just gets you stuck and you want the, this to end. Yeah, because it just stopped. And for others of you, you just might want this separation to end. You see what I'm saying? You want that connection for the Nine of Cups. So check out how it resonates. But for some of you, you wanted this, you know, the separation to stop so you can get your ten of, or your Nine of Cups back. And some of you say, you know what, I'm just going to make it end because I'm tired of the challenge. Waiting for your ships to come in, but it's just there's just so much fighting. There's so much fighting. There could even be just this internal battle going on within you where it's like I'm trying to see where the ships are going to lead me next. Making choices. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, or a Capricorn, or a Virgo. It's almost like they didn't, they're just, seems like a lot of self-involvement on their end. They're just not learning. You're kind of like watching them to see what's going to happen. Um, or they're watching you to see if you're going to give this loan back to them. Or you're watching them to see if they're going to make a turnaround. Or the Ace of Cups, is there going to be a fresh new start? You know, it's almost like that they're going to, I don't know if they're actually going to come back to say something to you with the Knight of Cups or if they're just thinking about it because they're holding on tight and trying to take control of this relationship. Um, it's almost like they, they don't want it to end or you don't want it to, somebody doesn't want this to end. So, but I don't know if they're actually going to come back to you right now. Um, I do feel like they are trying to take control of the situation. They have expectations that this, you know, that this Ace of Cups will come back around. Um, but they do feel like there is something hindering the situation. And it's almost like, well, you're inspired to take back control of your life away from the challenging times. It's almost like they're kind of putting this idea out, but I think it's like they want the relationship to keep going forward and they want it, their dreams to become reality with the Knight of Cups because it's like I have this superiority um, within me that's saying I can have this with you, but we need to fix this and I, I don't know if you want to fix this, right? It's going to be hard. It's almost like... I'm, tried to fix it in the past and you realize, well, you're acting kind of selfish and you're kind of only about yourself. Um, but I just feel like they are trying to yeah, fight their way back with the five of swords. And they are, they're trying to fight their way back. They're trying to show you what they really have deep down inside, even though it's kind of over. And then this is where the, yeah, the fears and insecurities come through. They're trying to not be fearful about the situation, but they don't see you really opening up your heart to allow this, or you don't see them, take it how it resonates, could be the other way around, or you don't see them opening up to, you know, 
to you, however it is. But yeah, I don't see a turnaround over here. It's kind of like, almost like you're watching to see if they're going to turn around. They're kind of saying that they are turning around. But I just feel like it's kind of too late. It's almost like I gave you the opportunity, but it's kind of late now. There is some worry, though. Some worry that, you know, that even if you do take them back, that they'll just go right back to where they started from. There it is. Not putting enough, not putting enough hard work into what needs to be worked out. So there is some mistrust to the situation. And I do believe it's you coming towards them, you know, because it's like, oh, I gave you all this. So you do feel like it's, I, I think it's between being stuck and wanting an ending, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> With the darkest fears over here. It's kind of like, there you are stuck again. And it's because they're coming back and they're trying to tell you this, but you're not sure if they're actually being honest about the situation. Yeah. Or if they're just trying to blindside you. Uh, are you blindsiding me? Are you lying to yourself? I don't know if I want to take this. You know, because I, I've dreamt about this day. I've had this before, but I'm just not sure which way to go. And it does feel that way. It feels like they have some secrets and some deep, dark, uh, maybe skeletons in the closet that they don't want to reveal. Um, and, you know, or they're just straight up hiding something from you or just not intuitive enough to actually see what they're doing um, with the Eight of Swords. So they're kind of like, yeah, there's no reflection and seeing what they're doing. Yeah, absolutely. So they're not really patiently planning to do a whole lot about the situation. You just feel like they're just gradually just trying to do what they want to do, but they're not seeing how selfish they were. You're not seeing what they had done in the past. It's just like, here I come again. Um, yeah. So it does feel like you might be cold shouldering the situation because you're intuitive enough to see that you can't blind me from this because I see that you're blinding yourself. Absolutely. So it just feel like you're just going to end this situation with the king of coins upside down because they are guilty. Absolutely guilty of unhappiness and just building this unhappiness and this negativity around the situation absolutely with the page of uh, wands coming upside down so it's like i can't take you traveling towards me because yeah because i see the toxicity that's around the situation and every time you come back you just add tox toxicity to our our lives so a lot of you are just going to stay single and get rid of the challenge you're just tired of challenging and always being in defensive mode or watching them being in defensive mode when you come to them to tell them that they're doing something wrong you're just tired of it so it does look like you're going to make the best judgment call of the situation and pretty much take back your throne over here for the situation because they don't see like they really grew um you watch them and it's like well i didn't see anything i didn't see a major turnaround i wanted you to turn around but i don't see this turning around um, it was a hopeful, uh, kind of a hopeful situation, but I think you just kind of came to the conclusion over here, Leo, that it was best just to kind of separate yourself from the situation until they can actually get the act together and do what they say they're going to do and actually be aware of the situation because they're kind of lying to themselves, I guess is a good way to also put it. And you, you would say that. Not owning up, definitely, to the mistakes of the past. You can't just come back from the past and then not, you know, apologize. You know, you can apologize over here and say, yeah, we had a lot of fighting. We had this and that. But they're not owning up to them being the problem, right? Because you're saying, well, this is what the problem was. But there's no owning up to that. So the fear is, yeah, if I take you back, you're not really doing anything different. You have to take ownership of this type of situation, Right? Because then that would show the growth. But they just want to continue to put you in this challenging time. So I don't really see that really, you know, helping a whole lot. They could have a drinking problem. I see all the cups over here. They might be drinking and you're just saying, I just can't deal with that. Until you understand that you have some kind of problem, I, I can't help you. almost like they're veiling themselves away from their own problem. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.